Here are some ways that you can use games from home when practising speech and language with your child. Each time your child identifies a correct rhyming word, they can place a counter on the board and then at the end they can watch the magic happen. Wiggly wiggly wah, I can drive the car. Wiggly wiggly walk, I can read a book. Wiggly wiggly well, I can ring the bell. Each time your child selects the correct rhyming word, why not let them build Mr. Potato Head? We also like using the fishing game. Each time your child says the correct rhyming word, they can collect a fish. We also like to use post box for our resources. Place a sound in front of each post box. Say each word for your child to listen for the end sound. They can then post the sound through the correct post box. If you don't have these at home, why not try making your own? Book. Oh. Eight. Sock. Marking syllables can be done in a variety of ways to make this fun for your child. Why not try letting your child mark the syllables on a whiteboard? Tam. Ver. Green Mouse Carrot Using a drum to beat the sounds. This could also be done using objects in and around your home. Banana Spider Tambourine Your child could use Play-Doh to mark the syllables. Talking pictures are great to help support speech sound production. Here are some ways to make them fun. Place your sea creatures on each word and let your child use their fishing rod to reveal a picture. Then your child can say the word before moving on. Dice. Grass Purse You could also use counters and a magic wand to play this game. Tennis Sauce Bus Nurse Mouse You could also use Pop-Up Pirate Horse. 
cross. Circus. This game can also be played as a lotto game. Glass. Dice. Sauce. Tennis. You can use these different games with any resources or any other games you may have at home. Why not give it a go?